So, you're a UFO or weather balloon enthusiast, and you want to visit the site outside Roswell, New Mexico, where an object crashed in 1947. I'm going to show you exactly how to get there. In the description, there's a link that'll take you to GPS files and other sites with more information, including the Bureau of Land Management, BLM, where I got the map and the route. First, you take County Road B007. Some maps have it listed as TW Road, Transwestern Road, or Pipeline Road, but it's a road that runs north-south from New Mexico 247 at the north where I came in, and it goes to New Mexico 246 at the south where I came out. I would suggest plugging in the coordinates of the parking lot to your phone and use that to navigate you there. While the town of Roswell gets all the glory, the site is closer to Corona, New Mexico, and there is fuel in Corona. If you're coming in from the north, you'll pass a road that is on the map that it says not to take. This road looks like it will be perfect and it would completely save the hike, but it's on private land and it's well marked that you shouldn't go this way. The route on the map is not, all, not bad at all. It's hard to follow a piece of paper without any landmarks, so I would suggest putting the GPS file in your phone with Gaia or some other app that can help you follow a GPX file. Gaia is my favorite. I took the BLM map, overlaid it on Google Earth, matched up the roads and landmarks, and traced the route. So the route in the track is pretty close to the BLM route. When you get to the parking area, this isn't really where the trail starts. You walk down the road south along a cattle fence for about 800 feet. There's an orange marker that indicates this is the start of the trail. There's no break in the fence. It's a barbed wire fence to keep cattle contained, so you've got to go under it. There's a spot where it's bent up a little bit, and the bottom of it has no barbs. There's a similar spot near the parking area, so you could just go in there, but I do believe following the route is the best way. It avoids the craters, and the hills aren't as steep if you follow this path. Once you're under the fence and on the trail, and I use the term trail quite loosely, there's no established route or anything to indicate you're on a designated path, at least for a while. I did pass the bottom of a bucket, which I assume is cattle related, and it was not until I was about halfway there that I started to see some small orange flags to mark the path. It's very windy the entire time I was there. And although it was in the 80s, it was so windy I was glad to have on long pants and long sleeves. I'd suggest having some water as well. Definitely wear boots. This is not a maintained path of any kind. You're just walking through New Mexico. It's rocky. There's some nice cattle dumps to dodge. And this part of the country has snakes, so watch your footing. After about 1.2 miles, you arrive. It took me 30 minutes, and that's each way. So it's about an hour of walking, plus whatever time you spend at the site. I was under the impression there was a rock cairn and a monument, but none of that's there. There's a foundation where the monument once was, but the only thing left is by visitors that mark the spot. Otherwise, there's not much to see. There's really nothing to see. Judging by the topography of a spaceship or something was coming in at a shallow angle, this hill and the rock face make sense as a place that it would stop. But... All of this is coming from a map I got from the Bureau of Land Management, which is part of the Department of the Interior, which is the federal government, which really isn't trustworthy, or maybe not trustworthy when it comes to this sort of stuff. When looking at this site, it's easy to kind of put a crash together in your mind. It's the side of a hill, sort of a crater, and a rocky face that would stop about anything. On the walk back, I couldn't help but notice other craters with rocky wall edges, so this type of spot really isn't that rare. The person that discovered the debris, their ranch or home, is a bit north of here, but I believe that building is gone or replaced and is on private land. I didn't really take a deep dive into this. Here you can see the road that begins on private land passes right by the site. You have to cross over it to get to the site from the path on the map. I would say it's a cool place to visit. It is, but there's really nothing to see. If you want to come out, take a look at the maps in the link and be respectful of trucks and ranch operations. They're out here working and I'm just goofing off. Let them work, stay out of the way. If a truck comes up behind you and you're going slow, let them pass. If a truck's coming towards you, pull, pull way over to the side so they can go by without issue. If you're near a cattle guard or tight space, you might even have to stop. This is not as isolated of a place as I thought. Uh, there certainly isn't a Burger King in sight, but you don't need four-wheel drive, and it's not really far from towns with services. I had cell phone service with AT&T for most of the drive, but very little of the hike. And as I mentioned before, there's a link below with uh, GPX and KML files with paths, paths to the exact location of everything, a link to a news article showing the site a few years back, and a link to a Google Street View image uh, that shows what it looked like a few years ago as well.